We're back at 836 with important health news. The FDA has just expanded approval of a drug for metastatic breast cancer to also treat patients, patients with earlier stages of the disease. The decision, it will actually free up access to the medication for tens of thousands of women. NBC News medical contributor Dr. Natalie Azar is here with more. So on the scale of good oh. news for cancer patients, where does this rank for you? On a scale from 1 to 10? Yeah. I, I call it a 10 wow. for breast cancer. My goodness, anything that can prevent Event recurrence. This is this is a great tool in the toolbox. So for this has been available to people with metastatic, but now they're for, expanding it. Yeah. So so, so it, had, it was approved a couple of years ago for metastatic breast cancer. Mm -hmm. The FDA just expanded approval to now include women with stage two or stage three, what's called HR positive, HER2 negative. Those are earlier stage. That's when the breast cancer has not traveled beyond the breast or uh, you know local mm -hmm. lymph nodes. Um, the way it works is that yeah. it kind of like targets the cell cycle, uh, inhibiting growth, and it's a daily pill. Mm -hmm. um, and the treatment duration is about three years. So you do your the chemo, radiation, or whatever you need, and then you take this exactly. Pill? And it and it's and and with that standard of care, um, women are also taking hormonal therapy, something called aromatase inhibitors. They're doing okay. that in conjunction with this new medication. So what do the numbers show for women who have taken this yep. drug? What ha what's the chance of recurrence? Right. So the initial data came out that at three years, it reduced the recurrence by about 25%. And this is the great thing, Hoda. Just this week, they released four-year data that showed it reduced recurrence by about 28.5%. Wow. So when you have, you know, these breast cancer experts looking at this, they're saying, wow, because we want to know also about long-term recurrence. Yeah, so, sure. the, so, so the fact that this is a line that's going up is fantastic. Unfortunately, about one in six uh, you know, individuals who have this particular type of breast cancer will experience a recurrence. It's a significant number of people. What about the, uh, sometimes when you obviously when you take some kind of pills, there yep. are side effects that go along with what's the, yeah. what are the side effects for these? So also, right. So not nearly as bad as we as we talk about with chemotherapy, but people can experience some joint pain. They have to have blood tests monitored. It can lower the white blood cell count. It can also raise the liver enzymes. EKGs need to be done initially in, in the first couple of mm -hmm. weeks of treatment. And it's expensive. The out of pocket cost, if you're insurance doesn't cover it. It could be up to three to four hundred thousand dollars for a full treatment Wait. course. But Hoda, what we always say, now that it's FDA approved, insurance companies are very, very, very likely to be compelled to cover this. Which okay, is just so fantastic. basically if they don't cover it, it's not accessible to anybody uh, hardly. Probably right, right okay. exactly. So you think insurance so companies will step up? I absolutely think that they will. Okay, they should. This All is right. Great news, Hoda. Yeah, I'm glad to hear it. Dr. Yeah. Azar, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.